doing guys? It's me, Jack. Happy Halloween week. Happy Halloween. Okay there. Happy Halloween week. Finally guys, it's the day we've all been waiting for. The the end the end of this series. Five days I've been doing it for. Seems longer, doesn't it? Dragged. You know, it's the end now. I hope you've enjoyed at least sort of 10% of that. That would be that'd be a win for me. To celebrate it actually being Halloween. Fuck Halloween, Halloween. Episode five, still not caught on, Halloween. So to celebrate it being Halloween today, I thought why not give my audience what they know and love, a 10 reasons why video. And then I thought 10 is a bit much to be, a, can't be, a, I'll do seven, seven. So without further ado, here's seven things I've fucking forgot to dress up. Hang on. Oh, look at me fucking gag. Oh my God. Oh, look, this is pathetic. Look at me. Here's seven things I hate about Halloween. Halloween. Seven things I hate about Halloween. Number seven, straight away. These what? Look at that. that, that. Oh, these what? That. Listen, these, they're joined there. Who's got teeth that join there? They're pathetic. 99p they cost and all. And you're fucking worried about a 5p carrier bag. Even the people that sell them know their shit. You should have seen the woman's face in Tesco when I rocked up and bought them. She couldn't fucking wait for me to leave the store so she could have a little gossip with her Tesco pals. Ooh, Barbara, that YouTube kid fell on hard times. In May, he was rocking about with Wahlberg. Now he's buying the plastic fangs. He's buying, he's, pa he's paying a quid for that. Look at them. I mean, look at... I can't. Number six, pumpkins. How are they scary? I don't understand how they're Halloween, but they're vegetables. They're vegetables. I mean, bats, I totally get. They come out at night, they hang upside down, they're creepy as shit, they got fangs. It's weird. Witches, I get it, they're ugly, rank. Ghosts, a bit spooky, granted. But a bright orange fucking vegetable. How'd that get on the agenda? That fucking snuck in, didn't it? Who the fuck's looking at a pumpkin and going, oh, no, I can't. I can't do it, Barbara. I, can't. I don't know why everybody knows Barbara. Apparently, she's very popular around this time of year. Loves Halloween. Oh, I can't. I'll do it, Barbara. Put it away. Put the vegetables away. Ooh, whatever next. The Easter egg plant. Ooh, the Christmas come. Ooh, 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 the birthday beetroot. I've been to think. Number five. Look, look. Number five. Do not knock here signs. Ooh. Don't get me wrong. I understand that some people don't want to get up and answer the door to trick or treat because they've got better things to do. They might be old. Just don't answer your door then. Don't actively go out and buy a sign to tell everybody you're a miserable bastard. Most kids these days, ruthless buggers. Yeah, they don't listen to no sign. No ball games. Yeah, fuck that. Pass the size five, Barbara. She's playing football now she gets a bell <laughs> i genuinely don't know why i'm so aggravated about a sign <sighs> number four this doesn't annoy me but it kind of just creeps me out teen trick or treaters trick or treating us for kids isn't it for little ones who's still doing it when they're a fucking teenager you see every bloody year 14 15 year olds knocking about in their lapox sportive track so rat a tat fucking tat and on doors trying to get some free sherbet what are you doing mate you're a teenager leave it for the kids please last year i got a knock on the door so i went to fucking answer didn't i star mix in hand i shit you not the guy on the other side he was taller than me i'm six foot two and i knew that he knew that he was too old to be doing it because he didn't even bother saying trick or treat he just stood there looked at me i was all it was creepy i'm just looking at him like that what do you actually want pal don't fucking put your hands up as if I'm going to give you some fruit pastels, you knobheads. I'm going to give you a slap and a can of Lynx Africa. Go spray yourself, you stinky fucking team. You're 18, mate. Cheap masks. Now, I know the level of irony of me standing here looking like this, complaining about shitty, tacky Halloween costumes, but bear with me, please. There's a certain type of cheap mask I can't stand. You know them plastic ones that you get in Poundland in a bin like that? You just pick it out, it's like a mould of the most random thing ever. They're not even cliche Halloween things. I mean, you pick something out, it's a lucky dip. I've got a water bowl. Who the fuck dressed up as a water bowl? And it's got that shit bit of string sellotaped to the back of it, meaning anyone with a head bigger than that of a baby's is going to fuck the cunt the moment they fuck the cunt. I just said fuck the the cunt. You snap the mask as soon as you try and bloody put it on, so that's going straight in the bin with them. And they always do the eye holes too close in, don't they? So you can't see out of the fucker. It's like if for some reason you are going to be a water bowl for Halloween, you better fucking hope you're a cross-eyed water bowl, but you ain't got a fucking chance, mate. Walk around like that, trying to see out the fucking thing, trying to read signs. Do not knock here. Oh, for fuck! Number two, treat expectations. Kids these days, when they're doing a trick or treat, they don't understand. They're taking a 50-50 gamble. You're giving me the option to treat you or to trick you. And sometimes you will get tricked. But when I do trick the kids, them and their mums get a little bit mardy. All I've done is put an egg in your basket. I've not pissed on your starburst. You're standing there crying. You've knocked on 65 houses tonight. You've got 64 treats. You've got one trick and you think you've lost the game. I'd say, Jimmy, that you're pretty fucking up on your fruit salads, mate. Nobody knocks on my door anymore. I got blacklisted. I'm going to be a good dad, though. I reckon. Number one on the list of things I can't stand about Halloween. Slaggy, slutty, K. 
cats. Not even a generic, normal cat. A slutty one. <laughs> oh, forgive me, because I must not have gotten the memo, because I thought Halloween was the time to dress up as spooky shit and get frightened, not dress up as slutty slags to get fingered. Word. When did girls collectively go, do you know what? We're gonna stop being creative. We're gonna all dress up as the same. We're gonna black out our nose, whiskers, ears. We're cats. We're slutty little cats. Cats. I've never seen a cat be slutty. That's not even how cats are. I've never seen a cat wearing a push-up bra crying into a bottle of Lambrini at three in the morning because the boy cat they've been texting out WhatsApp them back. If you're gonna be a cat, be a cat. If you're gonna be a slag, be a slag. Don't combine the two, it doesn't work. It's like seeing a hoary dog or a cross-eyed water bowl. There we go guys, that's seven reasons I hate Halloween. If you did enjoy the video guys, please give me a thumbs up. Let's see if we can hear 3,000. I hope you've enjoyed this week's worth of videos. I'm thinking about doing the same thing for Christmas. So let me know in the comments down below if that's something you'd like to see. I've been Jack, mate. Thanks for watching. If you haven't already, hit the subscribe button. I'll see you soon. Peace out.